speaking to you here this morning on the subject, something happened. Aren't you neighbors and neighbor? Something happened. I heard this morning, I was listening from home, it's just a Hans Bible study lesson, getting dressed, and she talked about after the resurrection. Mm-hmm. You know, we just celebrate this big time. Mm-hmm. You know, we have an old brother cross over there. Mm-hmm. Kids gave their speeches. Mother Bailey sang Old Brother Crawl. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Mother had on Aisa outfits. <laughs> yeah. Amen. We had a guest here with a pickle made up. Debut to Zion. Right, right. Mm-hmm. On last Sunday, mm-hmm. we celebrated. Yeah. But he got up. Yeah. Yeah. He did get up. He did get up. He rose, didn't he? Yeah. He got up. Mm-hmm. And because he did, mm-hmm. the song said, All fear is gone. Yeah. Because he did, I can face tomorrow. My Lord, my Lord. I wish I had a witness. Amen. Yeah. He rose from the dead. Yes, sir. But have you ever thought about Mm -hmm. what happens after Mm resurrection? What happens after the Lord empowers you to get up? Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. Has the Lord ever brought anything, anybody here, amen, back to life? Yes. They wrote you off. They said you weren't going to be anything. Come on, somebody. Look at you today. Thank you. I'm going to say it. Be you. Look at what you've been through. Thank you. Thank you. Is anybody here, amen, that came back from the dead? I said they wrote you off. Thank you. 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 Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
It's right there in the same chapter, verse 13. Mm -hmm. All right. It says, now, I'm going to tell you this little scenario. Come on. Lead it up to the thing. He said, now, that same day, two of them were going to a village called Emmaus, mm -hmm. about seven miles from Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Now this is after the resurrection. Yes, and they, some folks have claimed to have saw him. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, not everybody did, amen. And so these two, amen, disciples, amen, they probably were excited about Jesus. They was excited, you know, Palm Sunday when they were laying palms and clothes out on the road and Jesus was coming in riding on a donkey according to hypocrisy. Come on, somebody. And the people were saying, Hosanna, Hosanna. Glory to God in the high. They were praising God and they were with him. And just six days later, the praises went from Hosanna to crucifying. But they thought, now nah, Jesus ain't going to allow that. Amen. Because he got all power. Seeing him raise Lazarus from the dead. I seen him raise Peter's mother in law from the dead. I seen him raise the widow's son and name from the dead. I seen him raise Kai Bob and back to the eyesight. I seen him make a dumb man talk again. Come on, can I get a witness? I seen him stop that issue of blood. You can put that issue right there. I know what it does for you. Can I get a witness? I know what it does for me. And I was excited about Jesus. He's Worthy of all the praise, he's worthy of all the Hosanna. But just six days later, yes, 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 yes. there he is, hanging on a cross, stretched wide and hung high. For me, he lived, and for me, he died. Can I get a witness? He died, didn't he die? He died. They came to the moon and he was the blood and the sun refused to sign, he died. He died, died. He did die. So these two disciples, they seen all of that. They seen that their spirits had gotten so high. And just six days later, you have been through something like that. But I'm trying to tell you, it's a setup for the something happened experience. Still, they just stopped. They looked at him and, and they said, Man, 
Uh, you ain't got no cell phone. You, you don't have CNN, don't you watch? Are you gonna say Fox? I don't want nobody. Yeah. Amen. Don't you got MSNBC? Don't you ever you heard the news? Jesus, he said, uh, one of the names of the oldest asked him, Are you the only one that's in Jerusalem who doesn't know the things that have happened in these days? Mm -hmm. Jesus said, What things? And that's just like Jesus. Mm -hmm. He already knows to ask the question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He just wants you to start thinking right. about what really did happen. Mm -hmm. Well, they replied, well, about Jesus of Nazareth. Mm -hmm. You know, all the headlines, all the newspapers, you know, Tampa Times and everything, said, Jesus of Nazareth crucified. Yeah. Nobody reported resurrection. Mm -hmm. Just crucifixion. Mm -hmm. And he was, they said he was a he was powerful in the word and powerful in deed before God and all the people. But we had hoped that he was the one that was going to redeem Israel. And what is more, it is the third day since all this took place. But we haven't found this body. My Lord. They came and told us that they had seen a vision of angels. Somebody, Peter and said, I guess even Mary, Madeline said, uh, we seen a vision of angels all around him and who said that he was alive. Mm -hmm. Come on. And some of our companions went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said, but they did not see Jesus. Mm -hmm. What they saw was his clothes. Mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Right. And not only his clothes, it is reported that there was a napkin mm -hmm. that had covered his face mm -hmm. that was folded, amen, something like my handkerchief is folded. Mm -hmm. And it was left in a corner of the tomb. They said, that's all we saw. Right. And then <laughs> he said to them, how foolish you are. Mm. How slow to believe all that the prophets had spoken. Beginning with Moses and the prophets, he explained to them what was said in all the scriptures concerning him. And as they approached where they were going, Jesus continued as if he was continuing to go further. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. But they urged him strongly, saying, Man, Jesus, whoever you are, stay with us. Mm -hmm. For it is nearly evening, and the day is almost over. Mm -hmm. So Jesus went on to stay with them. When they were at the table with them, he took bread gave thanks, broke it, and began to give it to him. I want you all to I want you to envision this scenario as we have our communion every first Sunday. Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to them. Then, Mother Bailey, scripture says, when he gave them the bread, mm -hmm. that their eyes was open, and they recognized him. Mm -hmm. And then he disappeared from their sight. Mm -hmm. And they asked each other, Wasn't our heart burning with us when he talked with us on the road and opened the scriptures to us? Mm -hmm. And they got up and returned to Jerusalem at once. Mm -hmm. Then they found the eleven, mm -hmm. who was really just nowhere. They were just hiding. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then the two told what had happened on the road of the next. Now Jesus was recognized by them when he broke bread. Amen. And as I close, I want to give you five occurrences that lead to this something happened experience. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Right. If you take a note, stay with me. The first, if you're going to have that something happened experience, you gotta have some things that's gonna lead up to it. Mm -hmm. The first thing is, I see him. You have to actually see him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You yeah. see, we, we have this capacity to get into a mindset that blocks out 
what we don't want to see. <laughs> In this case, the disciples had locked onto the hope of seeing the Messiah set up an earthly kingdom in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And after his death, the preacher of a spiritual fog had descended upon them when the Roman soldiers arrested and crucified Jesus at the urging of the religious leaders. Yes, and some people just, oh wow. You don't let this happen? Mm -hmm. Then he must not be the Jesus mm -hmm. That we've all been waiting for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the followers of Jesus weren't even looking for him. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess they thought that Jesus was dead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they could, couldn't believe that he would come back. Mm -hmm. You see, unbelief, my brothers and sisters, keeps the veil drawn over our eyes. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. The problem with most churches today is that a spiritual fog has come over most of the churches today. Amen. Because a lot of us aren't even really looking for Jesus to come back. Mm. 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 All right, all right, all right. Mm. We're just too busy, you know, just killing time. Mm. All right. With whatever going to happen. Mm -hmm. A lot of us leaders know Jesus is not coming back. But the Bible said that he's coming back for a church without a spot or a wrinkle. He's going to come back for a church that's expecting Jesus to come back. Yeah. And he's going to look for a church that serves a living God. Yeah. And I need a witness. He's, he's here right now. Can I need a witness? He ain't over there. He's here. How do I know? He lives because he lives and he forgives me. Anybody here that know that Jesus is here right now? But his appearance may not come in a form that you expect. Faith is a thing that can open your eyes to a realm beyond your five senses. Help me, Lord. And in our text this morning, it takes us to a scene where we see confusion bordering on pandemonium. Mm -hmm. Peter gave a report. Mm -hmm. Man, I looked, you told me 11, or the 10, I looked into the tomb. Mm -hmm. He wasn't there. He wasn't there. But I did see what I described to y'all earlier. I saw his clothes. Mm -hmm. And I saw that napkin. And a couple on the advance road that was in the room, too, mm -hmm. they gave a report. Mm -hmm. yeah. They said, we sat down and broke bread with him. All right, all right, all right. But that wasn't enough, mm -hmm. especially for Dalton Thomas. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> and in our text, they expressed, finally, Jesus himself stood among them mm -hmm. and said, peace be with you. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. You see, they, they were startled and frightened, thinking that they had so ago. They are nodded in seeming acceptance of Peter's report. They agreed and they listened to the couple on the Emmaus report, uh -huh. but with the sudden appearance of the actual Jesus. Mm -hmm. They grabbed and their eyes bulged out mm -hmm. and their skin itched and they saw what they looked to be a ghostly apparition of Jesus. Uh -huh. Now they came to you today that a lot of churches aren't serving the actual Jesus, they're serving an apparition of Jesus. Come on. He just in the ATM machine. He ain't here to bless you and me, man. He's here to save you. Does anybody here know that he saved my soul? He saved my soul. Does anybody here that he saved my soul? Just a little while longer. I got the situation. 
things are under control. Yeah. He's talking to somebody here today. I know you're worried about it. I know what it looked like. I know what they did. I know what they said. But the Lord said everything. Said everything. It's going to be all right. The risen Lord. You got to see him for yourself. Amen. Can I get a witness? But not only is the events that's going to lead up to a something happen experience, you must not only I see him, but you must I talk with him. Amen. Peter's revelation was followed by the entrance of the couple from the Emmaus Road with the report of their astounding encounter with Jesus who was in God. They talked about their burning hearts and the grand moment of recognition when he took them into another dimension when he broke bread mm-hmm. with them. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But then Jesus rebuked, took the form of a disappointing question. He said, why are you troubled? <laughs> and why do doubts rise in your mind? Mm-hmm. Did you hear what what was prophesied about me? Mm-hmm. Don't worry about it. Some of us will all have to go through some things. Mm-hmm. That's life. Mm-hmm. But I mean, you know that everything yeah. is going to be all right. Yeah. Yeah. You see, you just can't believe in God. Yeah. You have to believe in God. Yeah. Right. Does anybody here believe in God for what he promised? Yeah. So Jesus said, Why are you troubled? Why do doubts rise in your mind? Can I ask somebody here, brother? Where is your faith? Where is the faith in the God that calls you? Where is the faith in the God that delivered you, that saved you, that restored you, that blessed you, that raised you up this morning? Can I get a witness? Because He lives. You can face tomorrow. God says, Praise God. Jesus said, The Father said, Look at my hands. Mm-hmm. Look at my feet. Mm-hmm. It is I. Mm-hmm. He said, touch me mm-hmm. and see. Mm-hmm. He said, a ghost don't have flesh and bone. Mm-hmm. All right, all right. As you see, I have. Amen. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. And Thomas just still said, I have to put my hand. My finger in the thing. Mm-hmm. Come on, somebody. So he put his hand mm-hmm. in Jesus' side. Mm-hmm. And when he done that, he said, My God and my King. Mm-hmm. You see, not only have you got to have seen him, not only have you got to have I talk with him, but then you have to have I handle him. Mm-hmm. Jesus said, Handle me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When God says, Handle me. Mm-hmm. That means I know what you're going through. Yeah, man. I know what it looks like now. Mm-hmm. But handle me. Handle me. Come on, somebody. Yeah, How do you handle God? Ah. You trust Him. Yeah. You touch Him. Yeah. And when you touch Him, He touches you back. Yeah. You somebody here to handle God. Yeah. Somebody was laying on the bed of a friction by two hands of God. Somebody in the enemy came in like a flood and you had a hand of God. Hand of God right now. That's what Lord, I love you. I can't somebody to stand on their feet before the hand of the Lord. You can handle him. You can touch him. You can handle him. You can touch his feet. You can touch his wounds. You can touch his wounds. You can touch his feet. You can touch his wounds. You don't have a high priest that we can handle him. When seeing and talking with him wasn't enough to fully convince the, that the body of Jesus was real. Mm-hmm. Jesus permitted a verification of a touch. Handle me, he's saying, verify me. He's saying, prove me now. Mm-hmm. To remove doubt, Jesus issued an invitation personally to tongues. Mm-hmm. 
You see, fellowship with Jesus is spiritual, mm -hmm. my friend Norman. Mm -hmm. But there is also an element of sensitivity in it, my friend Norman. Feeling is not essential mm -hmm. in fellowship with Jesus, but it is an enjoyable part of the faith. What are you talking about, preacher? Jesus felt the touch of faith on earth, and he also feels the touch of faith in heaven. Mm, what are you talking about, preacher? Feelings may be at the bottom of the order, mm -hmm. but they cannot be omitted. Amen. There is no totality in worship mm. if feeling the Lord is not. The reason with a lot of us is that we don't feel the Lord. We don't handle him. We sit in our pews from a distance and we think God is somewhere over there. Yeah. Let me ask a strange question. Has Jesus ever sat next to anybody here, right there in those pews? And you felt him? Has, has, has Jesus ever came into your home mm. oh, yeah. and stood right next to you mm. yeah. where you felt him? Yeah. 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 Has Jesus ever been riding with you in your vehicle? Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank Come on, somebody. You was just thinking about all your issues and he just pulled right back in that passenger seat and you felt him. Thank you, Lord. You see, these apostles were filled with disbelief. Thank you, Lord. But Jesus had to say, touch me. Handle me. I hear him, Brother Preacher, saying to the church today, Handle me. Touch me. Touch me. And I don't know about anybody else, but when you handle Jesus, mm -hmm. something happened. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Back in the day, mm -hmm. you know, we're not smart now. Mm -hmm. We have degrees. Mm -hmm. We got fancy vehicles. Mm -hmm. We got a designer clothes. Mm -hmm. We got a designer purse. Mm -hmm. We got a designer shoe, red bottom. We got shoe. Come on, somebody. We got uh, designer hair. What you say? Stop it. Stop it, right? Come on, somebody. We feel everything but the law. And I hear God saying to the church, oh, when are you going to handle me? When are you going to touch me? Come on, somebody. When are you going to have a feeling? The back in the day, uh, before we got all this education and these fancy air conditioned churches, I'm glad for it. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad for the ceiling fans. I'm glad for the hammer. I'm glad for the electric. Piano we got over there, I'm glad for the cordless microphone. I'm glad for all of that. But it seems like when we didn't have that, mm -hmm. we felt Jesus more. The first time things can get in the way of you actually feeling the Lord. Mm -hmm. But when you felt Jesus, when you left out of church back in the day, you were drunk. Because mm -hmm. you had a little taste of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Can I get a witness? I hear you say, handle me.
But Jesus said, even after the touching him, they still got so excited with joy that they didn't believe. Yeah. It's right there, it's right there. Look at that verse, it's right there. It says in 41, he said, 40 says, he had thus spoken, he showed them his hands and his feet. Mm -hmm. And 41 says, and while they yet believed not for joy yeah. and wonder, mm -hmm. that's when he said unto them, feel that you meet. Why ask that question, sister? Huh? Mm. Why ask that question? Do you have anything to eat? Mm -hmm. They gave him. They said, "Yeah, we got a little something." Mm -hmm. Well, the, this was a little piece of raw fish. Mm -hmm. Mother Martin and Ruth and my also with a piece of lobster and some <laughs> crab legs. Come on, in the seafood. <laughs> <laughs> we all got that mullet. Uh, and he said he took it and ate it in their presence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was it. Then they looked and they knew who it was. Why did it take for them to feed him? Mm -hmm. For them to fully recognize him. Can I help somebody? <laughs> Back to this song, Mother Daily. Mm -hmm. There are some things mm -hmm. that I may not know. Mm -hmm. There are some places mm -hmm. that I cannot go. Mm -hmm. But I am sure mm -hmm. of this one thing mm -hmm. that God is real. Mm -hmm. Yes, He is. For I can feel mm -hmm. Heaven in my soul. Yes, the, the, the verse says, yes, God is real. Yeah. Yes, God is real. Yeah. He's real in my soul. Yeah. For he has washed mm -hmm. and made me whole. Yeah. His love for me is just like pure gold. Yes, God is real. For I can feel yeah. him in my soul. Yeah. Watch this. They gave him what they had. Mm -hmm. We feed the Lord with what we have. Mm -hmm. Can I hear the witness? Mm -hmm. And what we have, we worship with our worship and our prayer. That's what we have. Mm -hmm. That's what you came in here today Amen. was your worship and your prayer. Amen. Now, when you are feeling despondent and it seems like everything is all over. Mm -hmm. How many know that it's not over? Yes. Until God says it's over. Yeah. When God is actually asking you, I know how things are. I know how things are going right now. Mm -hmm. I know you saw me up there on the cross. I know you saw them with me on the cross. I know you saw them put that spear in my side. I know you saw my blood that came streaming down. And it looks like it's over. But I want you to feed me with what you got. Anybody got some worship and praise? When I feed him, he feeds me. When praise go up, nothing come down. When I say hallelujah, in the midst of the storm, you got to feed me. Let me go with this. When I feed him, feed him, feed him.